this is an instructional video intended to help you set up your Inferno Scarecrow from Home Depot. First, take all of the parts out of the box. Your parts should include the Scarecrow head with his arms attached, four metal poles, a base, the center frame with the control box, and lastly, the rib cage with some fabric. Start by placing the base down on a flat surface with the letters A facing the front, and then snap lock the two poles with the labels A and B into the base, matching the letters A to A, and making sure that the locking pins lock into place through the holes. Then on top of those poles, you want to snap in matching B to B, the two poles that are labeled B and C. Now go ahead and grab your metal frame with the control box and attach that on top of the other two poles matching C to C and using the locking pins. Inferno Scarecrow is compatible with the 6 volt 2 amp DC adapter as well as 4 AA batteries but does not include either of these. In this case I stuck in 4 AA batteries but you can also plug in the 6 volt 2 amp DC adapter if you have that from another prop. Inferno Scarecrow's control box comes with a volume control knob that can go up and down. It also has a place for you to plug in the compatible trimies and foot pad, and it also has a speaker jack where you can use an external speaker. It also has a switch that can be in the off position where it will do absolutely nothing, and then it can also be in the foot pad position, which is where you'll want it to be if you're using the compatible foot pad or try me button, and then it can also be in the on position where it will go based off of the motion sensor. The sensor will also activate when there is a loud noise. The next step is to go ahead and locate the plastic poles labeled E underneath of his right arm and snap lock those together for a tight fit. Now you can take the body once you have that arm connected in and locate the opening underneath of the neck where you'll see a notch that you can slide on top of the center pole until that snap locks in using the appropriate locking pin. Now you'll want to go ahead and unfold the left arm, bending it out into the desired position. Now you can go ahead and locate the chest plate, and noticing that there is velcro strips in the top left and right corners of the chest plate, you want to go ahead and match those up with the velcro strips that are on the scarecrow's chest. Flipping your scarecrow around to the back side, you will see that there are three different wires that need to be connected to the right corresponding wire coming from the head and the control box. The three different wires you want to match up are H to H, G to G, and F to F. Now you can go ahead and pull the creepy cloth on his back all the way down to give it a little bit of cover. And once you have the four batteries in or the adapter plugged into the wall, you can go ahead and switch him into the on position and his arm will retract into the correct position. That completes your setup of the Inferno Scarecrow.